Here we are, day three, Democratic National Convention 2024. The show's on the road, everybody. People are excited, and I am too. What I want to talk about today is a little bit of the juxtaposition between the two parties right now, the two candidates, the two messages um, of how, how they can change the lives of Americans for the better. You've got Kamala Harris and Tim Walls packing multiple venues on one single night, tens of thousands. I don't know exactly what the capacity here is at the United Center in Chicago, but it is certainly at least 15 to 20,000 people packed. If it could have been for fire code standing room only, it would have been. And this stands in stark juxtaposition to the events that the Republicans are putting on. Uh, sad, I guess, is the only way which kind of is a, a perfect juxtaposition of the mood of Donald Trump, who yesterday gave a little, a little address. And I want to demonstrate just how sad and doom and gloom and just the difference of attitude that you're witnessing between the two candidates. This is Donald Trump, who's trying to paint a picture of America that is absolutely scary, dystopian, and untrue, where he's talking about not being able to walk across the street to buy a loaf of bread without being raped, shot, and mugged. It's just insane. But you can't walk across the street to get a loaf of bread. You get shot, you get mugged, you get raped, you get whatever it may be. And you've seen it, and I've seen it. And it's time for a change. We have to bring back our cities. We have these cities that are great cities where people are afraid to live in a man. <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you, did, you, did you catch all that? Uh, just for, for edification, let's go through the quote again. It's just insane, says Donald Trump, that you can't walk across the street to get a loaf of bread. You get shot and you get mugged and you get raped. You get whatever, whatever it may be. And you've seen it and I've seen it. Has Donald Trump actually witnessed someone get raped trying to buy a loaf of bread while walking across the street? Is this the America that he thinks exists in the minds of the people who live here? Is this your experience? Do you fear walking across the street to buy a loaf of bread? Um, I live in one of the cities that he deems a dangerous hellscape. Washington, D.C. I've walked all across the city of Chicago, the third largest city in the United States. I can tell you that the dystopian view that he's putting forward is a fantasy. It's what he wished it would be so he could enact his fascist policies across the country to combat crime. The problem is crime is largely down. Experts say, crime statistics show that it is absolutely down. But not if you listen to Donald Trump. Not if you listen to this windbag dipshit. He here, in the same speech, moments later, this is his proof that it's not happening. This is his proof that uh, crime was actually down under his administration and now up. And uh, we had a couple of instances last night where things were mentioned, so I got it. Uh, did crime rise under Trump and fall under Biden? They said it rose under Trump and rose. And they go, no, the opposite is true. Take a look at this here. It said, is it true? Did crime rise under Trump and fall under Biden? No, comma, the opposite is true. This was a study group that went out. No, comma, <laughs> the opposite is true. <laughs> Look, I know Donald Trump has a difficult time with punctuation, but I didn't know that he was going to be reading punctuation marks as words. No, comma, the opposite is true, as he just holds up a random article or something, or maybe a tweet somebody printed out talking about some study group. No evidence, no citation, just propaganda. And we're going to finish with this. This really should give you the flavor for how sad or bummed out or just generally no energy. Remember back in 2016 when he gave everybody nicknames and low energy Jeb was one of his nicknames for Jeb Bush. Well, he's really being low energy Don right now. Listen to just the, the lack of enthusiasm he has for his own message while rambling again about the crime and the differences and police and a bunch of other nonsense. Have, uh... They have, they just have it out for the police. 
Nobody knows why. I don't understand why from the common sense. I like to say the Republican Party is now the party of common sense. Conservative? Yeah, I guess conservative. It doesn't matter. It's the party of common sense. We want to have borders. We want to have strong police protection. We want a military that can protect us. We want great schools, school choice, ideally. We want to have, we want to have a good life. We want to be safe. But let's review uh, Kamala's pro-crime, anti-police record. She repeatedly endorsed defunding the police, which I said, and it's at a level that, and it never goes away. You know, when you're a defunder or when you are uh, even a politician, your first thought usually is the thought that you go with. If she ever had a chance, she would, she would uh, do whatever she could to to fund the police, because that's where her spirit is, that's where her heart is. And we can't have a president like that. Again, there couldn't be a starker ju juxtaposition between the candidates than what you just witnessed with Donald Trump and the enthusiasm, the frenetic energy of the campaign of Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz. There is two separate visions for America that are being played out right now. One is one of fear and sadness and just uh, degradation of some dystopia. And the other is a hopeful message for tomorrow of what we can build together to make our country better for our neighbors and ourselves. And I think you wanna join me in that. I'd love to know what you think. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. And of course, as always, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Uh, if you want to take part in this work, if you want to help fund trips like this to bring Brittany Page and I to the DNC, uh, help spread this message on this channel, click the join button below, become a channel member for $2 a month, or you can go over to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Follow me for all the updates here at the DNC at Dollamore everywhere on social media. I'd love to see you there. And as always, be genuine. Take care of one another.